Usually when we think of burrito meats, we think of chicken, beef, or pork, maybe even some salmon, but not today. We are the Jim Bros. Jimbo! Jimmy! Jim! Introducing our new every meat burrito. It's got every meat! Crow! Gator! Boise! Jackal! Puffin! Crustacean! Naked Bull Rat! And every other! Every meat known on Earth, other than people meat. Imagine an actual burrito that could fit all that meat and possibly cheese and other products. So today, let's imagine and truly wonder what it takes to make the most ridiculous burrito ever imagined. To figure out if we can actually make a burrito of this magnitude, we need to figure out just how many animals there are to choose from. Then we need to figure out how big this burrito would be. Based off the sheer numbers of animals living on this earth, it's hard to imagine them all fitting into one scrumptious burrito we would have to count every species of animal. But for right now, let's just take birds for instance. We'd have to have 10,000 species of known birds. According to some sources, there may be double that number. So if we just did a bird burrito, for instance, we'd have to do it one of two ways. 10,000 very thin slices, or 10K bits similar to ground up meat. And that's just birds. We haven't gotten to bovines, swines, canines, felines, and horse-like creatures, and several other types of creatures. When it comes to rodent-like creatures, there's about 1,500 living rodent species. This number is much more manageable in one burrito, but still, that's a hard number to fathom when it comes to all the different types of meat. To move this ahead, Let's get a total of all the land animals. According to animalsaroundtheglobe.com, there's approximately 6.5 million species of land animals on Earth. This isn't including the 2.2 million known sea creatures. For the burrito to truly work, we'd have to add those of the sea. With both the sea and the land creatures combined, we have approximately 8.7 million meats to work with. If we took one inch of every type of the 8.7 million meats out there, we would need one hefty tortilla. In one mile, there's 63,360 inches. That by itself already makes it a very large burrito, but we actually need a much bigger burrito to fit all this meat in this delicious treat. 8.7 mil divided by 63,360 inches in a mile equals 137.31 miles. That's how long the burrito would be to be the every meat burrito. Maybe an inch of meat sounds too much, but you need to get the proper taste of all the meats, and I think that's not a bad amount to start with. Of course, if you choose a half inch of all of it, it would be 68.65 miles, and cutting it by a quarter would cut that in half. Either way, it would be the biggest burrito in the world and the craziest. For one person to take all the time to gather all this meat would take an entire lifetime. And honestly, they still wouldn't succeed. The animals needed range from the mountaintops all the way down to the depths of the sea far below. Should this ever be done? Probably not. Here's my question for you. What do you think the burrito would taste like? You might think that all this meat together would taste different, or maybe even strange. Or you might think that it might taste like chicken. For us to truly know, I don't believe is in our grasp. So anyway, goodbye. <laughs>